Hello everyone, welcome to Ejao Tech. Mm -hmm. Ejao Tech. In this video, we're going to be looking at the CIE, which means Cambridge Assessment International Education. I will be looking at the IGCC Information and Communication Technology with the course code 0417, the variant 03, October, November 2023, and we are looking at the website altering. Okay, please take note that the whole paper in paper 3 is 2 hours 15 minutes. Okay, please, the instructions are very, very important. And the total mark for this paper is 70. Yeah, 70 marks. Yeah. Okay, so let's begin. You have been supplied with the following source files. These are the files you've been supplied with. You have a video, you have um, three pictures, a text. Um, a style sheet and of course a generic um, a spreadsheet. This is a spreadsheet right here. Okay, we have done the the spreadsheet part. So this is the file for it. Okay. So tax one evidence document. We had created the evidence document because we needed to take a screenshot in the spreadsheet part. So please do want to watch the video for the spreadsheet so that um, you can just be in, um, in line with me. Okay. Yeah. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, you pretty want to do that. I'm pretty sure you want to just hit on the subscribe button and share my YouTube channel with your friends because hmm, that's like the best gift. It's proven. It's a proven track record for success, and I don't want you to be left behind. Mm -hmm. Okay, tax two, farm management. Okay, now in farm management, this is chapter eleven of the textbook, so please take note. Okay, so create a new folder call called. TGS. So let's create a new folder. A new folder called TGS. Okay. So I'm going to right click, click on new, and click on folder, and I'll call this TG. Yes. Okay. That's simple. Again, you can click on new here, and then you can create your folder for this. Again, during the course of my um, practice with me, I'm going also to be putting the links to the question and the source file so that you can be practicing along with me. How cool is that? Yeah. Okay. Display the contents of your TGS folder. So they said locate the following files and store them in your TGS folder. These are the files we're going to locate and we're going to store. When we talk about locate, we are moving them. Okay. We are moving the video, um, the three pictures, the text and the CSS to this folder. So let's do that. Okay, so I have the video here. I'm going to hold my control. I have the pictures, 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 text, style sheet. Okay, and this is six items. I'm going to right click. I'm going to court and I'm going to open my TGS folder and I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste. Okay, so this is six of them here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Display the content of your TGS folder showing the folder name okay all file name file extension image dimension and file size so let's do this so i'm going to change the view to what details and now ensure there are no spaces very important okay so i have this i can take off the tags we don't need the tags okay i'm just right here at this row here i'm going to right click and then take off the tag now they said what um, showing the folder name now this is the folder name tgs um or file name this is a file name you don't have to create an extension as a file name this is a file name okay um file extensions this type is also the file extension um image dimension we do not have an image dimension we do have a file size so let's oh, let's add um the image dimension to it so i'm going to right click here on this row i'm just going to right click then i'm going to click on more and i'm going to choose the details i want to add so right here i have image dimension i'm just going to look for dimensions right here okay and i'm going to click on okay so now we have the dimension double click on this to remove the space so i have this so i have the folder name file name the file extension image dimension and what and file size okay this is step one 
right? Take a screenshot of this folder and place this in your evidence document. Okay, so we're placing this in our evidence document. Okay, so I'm going to click here and I'm going to use the sniping tool. The sniping tool is very important. So I'm just going to open the sniping tool. Right, I'm just going to click on new. Okay, and I'm just going to take the screenshot right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is going to be in my evidence document. This is going to be step one, evidence one. Okay. And I'm going to paste this here. Okay. Very important. So here we have what the folder name here. It can be seen the file name, um, the file type, um, image dimension, and then we have the size. Okay. And it's just one mark. All right. Tax three web page. You're working as part of a team of web developers at Tower Web and have been asked to create part of a web page and edit a style sheet for a local um, giraffe sanctuary. Okay, so that's Tower um, Giraffe Sanctuary. That's what TGS means. Okay, reading from the story Tower Web um, Giraffe Sanctuary. The web page and style sheet must work in any browser. It simply means that it, it needs to work um, in any of the web browser, whether it's um, Mozilla, Firefox, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, it needs to work in any of them. Very important. Okay. Now, all color code must be in hexadecimal. Now, when we talk about all color codes must be in hexadecimal, I want to explain this. This simply means that, right, it's going to be in what we call the arrow. G B. This means red. This means green. This means blue. And each of them is given two digits. Okay, two digits for red, two digits for green, two digits for blue. So we have this. Okay, and we have this. Okay. So here is for red. Here is for green. Here is for blue. This is a structure in which it has to follow. Okay, in respect of how the um, reorder it, it has to be in this structure the red, green, and blue. This is where you want to print your colors. Okay, so this is what we call hexadecimal, it has to be in this color code. Okay, very important. And of course, know your hexadecimal is B16. Okay, and when we look at B16, it simply means that you could have a color code that is A, B, and whatever. Okay, make sure that your style sheet contains no HTML. Okay, now make your HTML and style sheet as efficient as possible. It simply means that you don't have to bring too many redundant things to each of the styles that you'll be creating. Now, step two. I think I can clean this. Hope you've learned something. Now, step two. Create in your TGS folder a web page called TGS.htm. Now, remember the HTM and the HTML is the same thing. The HTML is an updated version of the HTM, okay? So that's what the HTML means hypertext markup language, okay? This is for writing what? Your web page, okay? So let's create um, in our folder a web page called this. So to use this, I'm going to use um, the Microsoft um, web expression. I've been told that some schools are making use of the Microsoft font, um, um, font page and others are making use of others. Now I'm going to have free classes when it's time and I'll be exploring with um, also we have this is this microsoft um the microsoft okay the microsoft expression web 4 is a type of website authoring packages we also have um text editors like your sublime text um you have your um notepad plus plus you have your visual studio code they're all text editors right so, but um, your Microsoft Expression Web 4, um, Adobe Dreamweaver, there are types of the website altering word packages. So, please take note of that. Okay. So, I'm going to open this. All right. Now, I have this. Please, it is important to remove this. So, I'm just going to remove this. Okay. And also remove this. This is an old traditional means of the HTML. And if you include this, it simply means that if cases of some tags, 
may not be what may not even work because it doesn't recognize that version of HTML. Okay, so you have your I doc type. This means document type. The document type is what HTML. That's what this exclamation mark doc type means. It means document type. Okay. The web page must be created. The web page must be created using a single table and works in all browsers. Okay. The table must have a structure like this. So this is the structure the table is going to have. Let's see. So this is um, one, two, three. So it has three columns and how many rows? One, two, three. Okay. So we have um, three columns and then we have three rows. Okay. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so let's do that. Okay. So again, I'm, this is the code view. I'm going to switch to my design view. Click on table and I'm going to insert table. So I have three rows and how many columns? Three columns. Now I'm going to leave this percent here, but I'm going to take it off. Okay, because I want to just create um, my table. So I'm going to take this off. Okay, let's see. So it looks very small. Okay, so I'm going to right click, go to table properties. I'll just specify the width to be 100 in percent. Apply it. Okay, that's fine. And with time, now if you check the code view, it's here. But I'm going to take it up. Now, I want to explain this. TR means table row. Okay, TD means table data. This is your cell. And AND NBSP semicolon means a space. Okay, so this is one row, second row, third row. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this. Each table cell is identified with the letter which must not appear on your final web page. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to do some merging. Okay, that is um, collections of multiple cells to add as a single cell. So right here, I have the merge here. We have what we call a cross span and a row span. A row span is where you're merging across rows. This is a row span, and this is a cross. This is a um, and this this is the row span, and this is the cross span because you're merging across column. We're merging across rows. seen as a row span. So let's start with the first one. I'm going to go to my split so you can see what I'm talking about, and I'm going to highlight this. Now notice that each of the four cells across each row is going to be highlighted. I'm going to right click, click on modify. And then click on merge cell. Okay, now you see it goes to the first one as what a row span. Okay, so I can just uh, make this A. That's fine. Here I'm going to merge this. I'm going to highlight this. Now this is going to be in the first row. Okay, so when I right click on this, click on modify and click on merge cell, this is going to be a co span. Okay, and I can call this B. I want to be sure. It's going to move this here. Okay, so this is going to be C, it's going to be D, it's going to be E, this is going to be F. Okay, so I have that. Okay, so now in step, let's move this here. In, okay, so in step three, place in cell A the image. This, this is what we are placing, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to switch to the code view, okay? I'm going to switch to the code view and I'm going to make use of this. This is very, very important. Okay, so we have the image N23, um, giraffe.jpg. Okay, this is also an extension for an image. Okay, remember to add appropriate alternate text to all image. Okay, so since we're using the code view, so I have it for, let's see, for A. Okay, I'm going to add this. Now, I'm going to be typing the code. This is going to be angle bracket. I have my image here. Hit on enter. Hit on enter. Then I can do the same. Okay. Okay, I have my source. So my source, remember, saving this 
Okay, let me save this. I've not saved this. My God. I've not saved this. Create your info web page called TGS. So let me save it. Click on file. Click on save us. And I'm going to save it here inside of it. Documents. Let me look for it. Um, file filler. Okay. 2023. I have a drive that has all the past papers. I'm also going to share it in this description of the video. Okay. I'm going to save it here. So this is going to be TGS. Now, TGS, remember you don't have to put .html because it's already a web page. Okay, so I'm going to click on save. So now we have it here. Okay, so now that it's saved inside of it, I can now do this. Okay, I can now do this. I can now copy this because this is what? Relative five part, right? And then paste this. Okay, remember the alternative is going to be what? Now, I'm just going to open the image because I don't know what they look like. Okay, so this is going to be a picture of a giraffe. Okay, so long. Okay, so it's going to be an image of a what? Giraffe. Okay. And I'm going to close. Okay. That's all. Now I'm going to save. Now it's important to always view. I'm going to preview my browser using Microsoft Edge. And if yours is not in Microsoft Edge, I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you do is click on file, right? Under preview in browser, click on edit browser list. Click on add. Okay. Then the name is going to be Microsoft Edge. Right, for the command, you're going to click on Browse, go to this PC, Windows 86, then you're going to go to Microsoft Edge application, and this is it right here. Click on Open, and once you've done that, you click on OK, and it will be added. Okay, and once it's added, I've added it already, then check it. Uncheck the Internet Explorer 11 and check this, and then click on OK, and you're good to go. Okay? So I'm going to preview browser and my Microsoft Edge. So I have this. Really long. Yeah, I know. Okay, the B is what? The image logo. So this is going to be for the B. Right there for B. Now it's important to label them so that you don't have to be scrolling up and down so for b i have take off the b backspace hit on enter hit on enter here i have img src source and i'm just going to copy this okay because again because this is a relative five parts so since i have um the main document inside of the same folder it picks everything Okay, I'm going to paste this, and this is the alternate. It's going to be what image of. All right, let me check what it is. Okay, image of Tower Giraffe. Okay, Tower Giraffe Sanctuary. Okay, so I have. So I'm just going to write logo of uh, Giraffe. TGS. So this is going to be Tawara Giraffe Sanctuary. Yeah. And I'm going to close. Okay. Here I'm going to save. Now because I've already previewed it in my browser, I don't have to be, um, you know, um, previewing again. Okay. I can just, since I've previewed already, I can just refresh and I'm going to have it here. Okay. All right, so I have this. Okay, so I have this. Now, the second one here is, now that's for 
B. Okay, the next one is F. Now the image, so F is going to be what? Okay, F is going to be the last one. So the image head. Okay, so this is going to be, I'm not sure, but it looks like the head of giraffe. Yeah. Now, so F, okay, backspace, hit on enter, hit on enter. Now there's also a way to just do without typing the code. You can click on insert, click on picture from file, locate the file. Okay, so in this case, I have document, filler, okay. 2023 October November open the source file okay now the test is going to be the head of giraffe okay now this is the alternate text and you can see that it's still the same thing okay just gonna hit on enter here still the same thing now remember we are to what add an alternative word an appropriate alternate word text to all image use inline style attribute to make sure that the logo fits the width of cell b okay cell b is this go add an inline style so right here i'm going to add my style so my style is going to be what width so what's the width 100 because I want it to fit into that cell so I'm going to save and I'm going to preview okay so fine it's now fitting within that cell all right so it fits the full width of cell B step 4 place in cell D the text so let's do that so B the text. I have the text here. Just gonna open it with my notepad. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this. Control A. Okay, just select all, right click, and copy. Okay. So I have this. Now I'm good. I prefer using the design to do this because it's easy for me. So right here in the design, I'm just going to remove this and then just paste. So it's going to adjust, okay, instead of me just cutting off, okay, so it's going to just adjust for me. So I prefer using, and I also prefer you also using the design for this. All right, what else? Let me see. Okay. They said, place in cell E, the text created by Tower Web. Let's look at it. Okay. The text page created by our web last edited okay so i'm just going to copy this in cell e okay still a text so i'm going to do that remove the e paste this okay page created by our web last edited by your name ND, comma, space, let's see, center number, EN, 017, comma, space, 2023, that's my candy number, place a paragraph break, after the full stop in cell E, Okay. Place the paragraph break after the full stop in cell E. So let's let's place a um, a paragraph break. So what we are going to do here, the paragraph break is going to be this. After what the full stop in cell E. So let's do that. So right here, I'm just going to switch to what to a heading. Let me see. A paragraph, sorry, paragraph. So it's going to be a paragraph break. So we now note this 
They said, okay. Now the paragraph break is going to be after the full stop. Okay. So we're not adding a full stop here. So let's take notes. I'm just going to move this. In cell, after a full stop, in cell E. Okay, so let's do that. So after the full stop, I'll just add the full stop. So that's what it is. A paragraph break. I'm just going to add a paragraph to it. Okay, done. So I've added the paragraph break to it. So here you have, oh, after the full stop. Oh, I'm seeing this. A paragraph break after the full stop. I was wondering. Okay, so there's no... So after the full stop here, okay, so they are going to be, it's going to be what, breaking down to what, display as what, two paragraphs. Okay. So I have, let me just undo it. It's fine. So I have the first one here as a paragraph. Yes. And I have the other one here as a paragraph. Okay. I was wondering where the full stop was coming from. So after the full stop in cell E, so this is cell E, place in cell E. So after this full stop here, okay, last edited is going to be another paragraph. So you have to place a paragraph break. So the, after this, another paragraph, that's what it means. Okay, set all your, all the text in cell D and E in style H2. It's, if you look at the code, it's still the same thing um, right here. Okay, there's a space here, so let me, there's a space here, so it's important to always check your code. Nope. Okay, so let me take off this. It on my tab. Yeah, this is better. It's always important to always check your code. Your code is very, very important. Okay, so now they say what? Set all the styles in cell D and E. Set all the text in cell in cells D and E in style H2. So let's do that. Come here to my design. Cell D right here. H2 right here. Okay, just okay. I can just do this in the code view. Put my H2 here. It's going to close it. Okay, cut it and then place it here. Okay, so I'm going to save. So now if I go to my design, let's see. So we have them here. Okay, very important. So it's not reflecting, does not mean it's not there. Because remember, we have what? The H2 here covering everything. So the H2 is, uh, the paragraphs are inside of it. Okay. Okay. Hope that is clear. Step five use videos and source tag. Use videos and source tags to cliff in cell C the video file. So let's do that. C. Okay, so I'm going to hit on enter. So when it comes to video, this is what we need to do. Okay. So I have right here my video tag. So I have video. Okay. And I have my controls. Okay. Hit and enter, hit and enter. I have my source. SRC. It's going to be this. Now MP4 means moving picture layer 4. Okay. Okay. So remember this is a, a, a multimedia that holds in what? Moving images. Okay. So I'm just going to copy this. You see this in chapter 11 as well. File management. Okay. So my source is going to be this. Okay. The type. 
it's going to be what a video slash what what type of video what's the extension mp4 and then you close hit on enter then display an appropriate text based error message if the browser does not support this video type so i'm just going to copy this now paste it here so the browser does not support the video type but we're not done let's say what set the video width to what 480 pixels and the height to what 360 okay pixels so let's do this so remember this falls in they say include video control so this is going to be in your control normally we have um in past other papers they tell us to use an inline style we can do that okay right here but now they, they are being specific so i have the width so i can do it here Width. so the width is going to be let's look at it what's the width 480 480 the height is going to be what the height is going to be what 360 okay and then we have our controls all right so let's save this and now let's preview this and let's see what we have done so far okay so you can see that it's plain and we have the controls here because they said what in the paper they said what they said include video controls okay and there's a nine mark question so the whole lesson of the video control is so that you can be able to enlarge this you can mute you can do picture in pictures and so these are controls all right attach the style sheets step six attach the style sheet at n20 n23 tgs.css to this web page so let's do that so let's attach so right here i'm going to right here on my money styles now if you don't see this what you need to do is come here to panels right and then you're going to see check the money styles and you have this okay so i'm going to attach the style sheet click on browse and i have n23 tgs i'm going to click on open remember this is going to fall on the head section and it's going to be a link so i'm going to click on okay okay so i have it right here okay as a link okay save your web page this is the best part and the question that i love so much i love saving my work i think we're done with everything here we have um, a b c d we have e and f so now i can just i can take this off the weight we don't need it so please i can take it off save and if i come here it's gonna be pretty much messy for me okay so i have this now because the weight notice something i want to show you something undo save come here now we have this right and this does not need to display okay so again i'm just going to remove undo save and now if i come back to this refresh so i have them right here okay so remember in the question because we're having the borders the question says let me scroll up it said each cell is identified with the letter which must not appear on your final web page okay it must not appear on your final web page okay they didn't talk anything about the borders okay, but it's fine we'll see what will happen so open
Step 7. Open the style sheet n23tgs.css and correct this mistake in the CSS. So let's open it. So I'm going to click on file. File. Open. Click on it and then open the style sheet. I did the style sheet to meet the specification. So invariably, I'm just going to Ctrl A and then delete. Okay. I like starting with very easy part. Okay. S style H1 and H2 must be blue with no other color component. Okay. Must be blue. Remember, it has to be what? Hexadecimal. So style H1. So I'm going to click on the new style. Okay. H1, H2. And this is going to be what? Blue. Okay. So blue here. I'm going to apply it. Okay. Style H1 and H2 must be set so that the browser selects. Now, I think we're having something similar. The browser selects and displays the comic sound. Okay, so it's still the same thing. So I'm still going to modify this. Right click, modify the styles. Right here, under the, um, the font family, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to look at what ends it. Default sans serif. Do I have a default sans serif? Comic sans. Okay, I have my sans serif here. I'm just going to use this. I have what? Comic sound. Just going to copy this. Remember, when there are more than one words, okay? This is going to put them in. Okay, so I'm just going to paste this. Okay. I have what? If the if the font is not available, the brother selects and display the font Comic Sans. Copy. Comic Sans. Okay. We don't need area. So I'm just going to take this Okay. If neither of these fonts are available, the browser must display its default sans serif. Okay. Its default word sans serif font. So I'm just going to apply this. Now, note, notice something that this is in code. This simply means that when there are more than one word, we have to put them in code to see it as what one word. Okay. So please take note. Now, we didn't put this in code because this is a dash. So it's joining them together. Okay. You can use a, a dash or an underscore. The background of the web page must have this. This is the background. So this is going to be body. Okay. It's going to be body. So let me create a new style. Okay. So this is going to be body, the background. So it's going to be background color. So remember again, we said RGB. Okay. So R first. So I have my, my hash. A A R O G B E R O R O G B D E. D what? Let me see. Is it D D eight? Sorry, D eight. Again, let's check. We have R O A A G B E and for blue, we have DE. So this is RGBAA, BE, and D8. Okay, so I'm going to apply and then click on OK. All right. Table cells must have a padding of 20 pixels. Now that's TD. Okay, for padding, we have it as TD. So I'm just going to do this. Now it's important to understand what goes into table and what goes into TD. TD is a cell. Okay, so we want to pad it. So here I have. You're going to see that in box. Yes. 
okay so the padding is going to be 20 pixels okay 20 pixels across board and i'm going to apply and i'm going to click on okay because it's for everything see how i go from simple to complex okay so you don't miss a thing so we've done this um, this is checked this is checked this is checked this is checked now let's look at table so it's time for us to create table i'm seeing a lot of table 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 so let's do that table here they said the table uh, the table borders the table must be center aligned within the browser window so it must be center aligned within the browser window so here i have um see that in block no no okay center the line okay center line that's box okay so box simply means that um, the margin right has to be auto and the margin left has to be auto okay so when you make it left auto is going to be in right when you make it right auto is going to be in left we put them together it's, it's going to show you a preview okay so we apply it as the first one done table must fit 85 percent of the browser window okay 85 percent of the browser window so let's do that so that's going to be um comment that should be I want to be sure. No. Okay, so that's going to be position here, which is 85%. We change the pixel, which is position. Okay, percent. Okay, so this is going to be the width. I'm going to apply it. But again, table borders and grid lines must not be visible. So the table borders and grid line must not be visible now to ensure that they must not be visible let's look at it okay must not be visible so i have borders okay so here i'm going to have um what i'm going to have here is um the external borders must not be visible let's look at it again it said table borders and grid line must not be visible so this is going to be table slash td okay this is going to be table slash td okay so this is very very um important okay so i'm just going to apply this okay and i'm going to create for table and td Okay, so I have must not be visible, so I have my borders. Okay, and the width is going to be zero. Okay, because it must not be visible. Okay, so both the table and TD must not be visible. Okay, I don't need to make it a solid, there's no need for me to make it a solid. So the border width is going to be what zero. This is very important. Let's look at it. Set table borders and grid lines. Now the grid lines are the ones that are inside. The borders are the ones that is outside. Okay. So let me explain this. So we have this. And then we have this one in. So both should not be what? Visible. That's why if you look at here, you have this outside. And then you have the one inside. Set the table borders and grid line must not be visible. So let's save this save what else okay so we have this no hey we have i gone to um, okay now the said one place your name center number candidate number as a comment at the start of the style sheet 
So at the start of the style sheet, I have this four slash asterisk child and the comma en 017 comma 2023 and then asterisk and then we'll close it. If we don't close it, then tell me that this is not going to be it's going to be non-executable. Now that we have saved it, let's arrange it. I love let's arrange let's do the arranging the arrangement. So I have table first. Table first. I'm just gonna arrange table first. This is how you arrange it. Done. Um table borders and grid line must not be visible. Table and TD. Table cells must have padding. That's TD. Okay. Body. And finally, H1 and H2. It's important to arrange. This is how you, you know that um, you're not missing anything. So this is center line, 85%. Uh, table borders and grid line must not be visible. That is table and TD. This is just TD alone. Okay. Um, this is body. This is H1 and H2. Okay. Save. And then let's preview. Okay. Okay. So we have this. Okay. So this is what we have. Okay. Remember this width was given. And this is center the line. Since they are set to the line. Okay. Save your style sheet in the TGS folder. Place a copy of your style sheet in your evidence document. Make sure that the content are easy to read. Place a copy. So we'll take a screenshot. This is going to be step seven. Step seven. Okay, step seven. Okay, some evidence documents. Okay, so this is going to be step seven, evidence two. Okay, I'm going to save this. I think this is clear enough. I think, can I increase this? Yeah, permission to increase it. I think I can just increase the width a little bit. Mm, I think 14 is fine. Yeah, 14 is fine. Okay. Just going to save this. Okay. So this is a um, step seven. Yes. Okay, let's look at step eight. Mm. Display the web page in your browser. We've done that. And now it's time to remove some things here that are not needed. So here we don't need this. Um, okay, we can leave the character set. Oh, yeah, we can just take this off. This, or we can just leave it, it's fine. Um, they didn't ask us for a title, so please, whatever I don't ask you for, you just, just take it off, okay? Or we can just call this TGS. Try two is TGS. Okay. Um, TGS. Okay. So we know we have a, a title, which is Tower Geography Sanctuary. Okay. Now, take a screenshot evidence and place this in your evidence document. Okay. So display the web page in your browser, then take a screenshot evidence and place it in your evidence document. Okay, now what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to extract this, then maximize this, click on the three dots. Now, if you check this, you're going to see web caption in your own version of Microsoft Edge. But if you don't see web caption, you're going to see that a screenshot. And I want to ca capture what the full page. Okay, so I'm just going to click copy and then 
this is going to be what just going to be show what this is this is step eight let's go to my evidence document step eight i think i can bring this to a new document yeah. enter and then paste this right paste this and enter Now the next thing I want to do is in the question they see what all the page can be seen, all the text can be easily read, the address bar is visible. Now to get the address bar, I'm going to close this and I'll take a screenshot of this. Alright, I'm just gonna get my sniping tool. Click on new. Yep. Okay, this is for camera and click on the plus and then do this. Yes, I'm fully aware that the keyboard shortcut for this is okay, shift windows s. Okay, but I just I just love doing the long method so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Alright, so I have this evidence document. I'm going to place this here. Now, how do I join these two together? To do this, I'm going to click on picture. Now, right here, nope. Wrap text, I'm going to make it true. Click here. Wrap text, I'm going to make it true. Yeah. Now, I'm going to bring this close using my arrow key. I think let me just let you see what I'm doing. Bring it close. Okay. Hold my control or shift. Hold your shift and select this. Both of them. Then click here under your arrange group. Group them. Okay. And now you have it as a one object. Yes, it was first introduced into my YouTube channel how the best way to take a screenshot in one full page. There's the benefit of subscribing to a child tech. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the first one. All right, let's look at the next question. So the address by visible. Display the HTML source in your editor. Take a copy to the while displaying the HTML source in your editor. Take a copy of the HTML source and place this in your evidence document. So this is going to be okay. So this is going to be. I'm just going to copy this. This is going to be. Now let me copy the other one. This is going to be step eight. Okay. So this is going to be step eight, evidence four. And this is going to be evidence five. Okay. So I'm going to hit on enter. Then right here, I'm going to unbold it. Okay. Take a copy of the HTML source and place this in your evidence document. So let's do that. Okay. So I'm just going to control A to select all. Right click and then copy this. Come to my evidence document and I'm going to right click and then paste. I'm still going to highlight everything again. Okay. Click here under the paragraph group. Remove space after paragraph. Increase the font group to 14. That makes it clear. It's fine. Okay. I think I can. We can do this. Delete, delete, delete. Yeah, that brings it close. So I can just make this 14. Okay. Make this 14. Make this 14.
make this 14. Make this 14. And then save. Okay. 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 Save. Just put this here. Okay. So now I have this. We have displayed the HTML source in our editor. Take a copy of this and we have placed this in the evidence document. Okay, so everything is done. The next thing that we're going to do right now is printing of the evidence document, which is what tax five. Printing the evidence document. Make sure that your name, center number, candy number appear on every page of your evidence document. Okay, so save your evidence document and print your evidence document. So my name appears on every page. Okay, so I'm going to save, click on file, then click on print. Okay. You can check it. And then Remember we're going to PDF. Going to be okay. Let's see. Let me do this. Let me look for it. Document uh, five. Okay, so this is going to be print out the evidence okay, evidence document and again it's important to always send your printouts to PDF so you can just check how they look at, at the end of the day so this is how it's going to look like when you're sending this to the printer for each of the steps, the evidence that we've taken, and this is it, okay? So yes, we are done with this paper. I want to talk about a very important YouTube channel called HR Tech. Trust me, this YouTube channel is is a giveaway. It's loaded with IGCSE, ICT, O level, AS, and A level. So trust me, you is a giveaway. This is this channel is helpful for your um, group studies, your personal studies, and it ha it has a proven track record of producing excellent results. So do me a favor, click on the subscribe button, okay, and share this YouTube channel with your friend trust me that will be the best gift that you're giving to them thank you very much and i'll see you in my next video bye bye